What is up everyone, Mr. Aviator here, bringing you another episode of The Sims 4 Millionaire here on Aviator Games. And you guys, last time we left off, we started our own business. Yeah, we got rid of the cupcake business and started a fancy sculpture business and uh, things aren't going that great. Kendrick didn't make any money in his first day of business, he actually lost $283. Now $283 is not a lot to a guy like Kendrick who literally just blows money because he's a millionaire. But it's not what he wants. He wants to be a successful businessman. And he wants to, I don't know, maybe have that success to pass on to future generations down the line. Uh, but nothing's going his way. It's been very sad. But guys, before we get into today's episode, do not forget to smash that like button. If you guys have been enjoying these videos and you're pumped for city living, which is going to be so exciting, don't forget to smash that like button right now. Let's go for over a thousand likes on this video because if we get over a thousand likes, we'll do another Sims 4 video for you guys tomorrow. But now in today's episode, guys, I plan on probably hanging out with Summer Holiday a little bit and working on our business. That is the most important part of anything, I think, right now. Hanging out with Summer Holiday, try to maybe grow that relationship. Uh, because who knows, maybe one day he'll get engaged to her, or get married, or have kids with her. Who knows, uh, Kendrick isn't getting old, necessarily. Uh, he does have a couple more days until he's an adult. Three more days, to be exact. And by then, I think he has to make the decision. Is he getting married? Is he going to live a family life? Or is he going to be single and alone forever? And I don't know. I'll leave it up to you guys. In the comments, let me know. Should he get married, have kids, have a family, or should he live that single life forever? Uh -huh. Let me know down in the comments. Uh -huh. yeah. But okay, so let's eat breakfast up. We woke up super early this morning because we know we have a lot of work to do. Now, I think Kendrick's fatal flaw in running his business was he was charging too much for the stuff. So, like, he had $10,000 statues that he was charging $20,000 for. So we lowered the prices, and hopefully today is a more successful day so let's toss all this in here clean this up once you go to the bathroom then it's time to go off to the offices so let's have him finish up the bathroom come on buddy you can do it there you go wash your hands and then come down here take the dish and put it in the dishwasher and then we gotta go we gotta get out of here okay travel do it okay here we go so off to our business. We have one employee. Our business has done no profit. What's our, we haven't even made a sale yet. That's pretty sad. We're a millionaire that doesn't know how to run a business. How did we get all this money, do you ask? Uh, I have no idea. Okay, so let's see. So I lowered the price mark up to 25%. Let's actually lower it to 5% just to kind of get these perk points up, getting more employees hired. That kind of thing. Okay, so now let's open this up. We're going to open the business. So we are now open for business, and hopefully today is a lot more successful. Uh, we have quite a few items here, and they're only 5% markups. So I feel like uh, th this is going to be a great day. So let's have Kendrick go in here. So that way we're going to go to the employee here. We're going to sign a work task, and she is going to yeah answer customer questions. That's basically like trying to sell to customers. <laughs> Okay, so there we go. People are rolling in, and we have some customers. Now, we don't know who's looking at what, but let's greet this customer over here. It's kind of just like running a restaurant. That's all we got to do is greet our customers and make sure they're happy. Uh, let's answer questions maybe for her and and maybe even discuss shopping preferences and ask about price range. We can do that with pretty much everyone. And just kind of make sure that they are getting the attention they desire I feel like we should have something to give away like like free materials free items free cookies do you think people would buy our stuff if we offered free cookies I, I mean like that that's a, that seems like a restaurant or a, a store I go to okay so there we go as you can see look at this hold on now hold on now she is almost sold on an item guys holy crap okay so discussing her shopping preferences and let's do one more thing we're gonna make a sale Enthuse about news door. Come on, do it. Do it. Get this sale. She's right there. She's almost she's so close. Offer information. Okay, so we're going to offer some information. Oh, there we go. There we go. Let's uh, ring up the customer. So she's ready to go. We're going to ring her up. So we're getting her on the iPad over here. Trying to ring up this customer. Now, we're not going to make a big profit because she bought, I'm pretty sure, the cheapest thing we have. But 425 bucks, so I think, what did we make? 20 bucks? Something like that? 20, 25 bucks, maybe? Oh, boy. Okay, so now we can restock this. Yeah, we made $20. 
So she bought something pretty cheap. Our store does include a ton of expensive items. As you can see, we're trying to get our employee a little bit better here at selling, but it's not really going well. So let's ask his price range. Let's see how. Let's see if we can help this sale out. You know, we we can do this. We're we're a great boss. So we're gonna answer any questions he's got. Maybe discuss more shopping preferences with him and all that kind of stuff. Let's see if we can convince this guy. Uh, we're convincing him of the sale. What choice? What value? Okay, so she's convinced. She's buying one of these boats. I'm going to ring her up. So let's run over here. Okay, I almost had him convinced. I swear I did. Okay, so we made two sales, and he's convinced! Okay, we're making three sales already now that we have... Uh, look, at he's going to buy this boat. So we sold both boats. and ooh, So we're probably actually making a decent level of profit here off these boats. Because uh, that was 1286 bucks, right? Well, let's just bring him up. Okay, so he's going 1286. Let's see how much are these. Okay, 1225. So we made 61 dollars off each boat. Five percent obviously is not a ton of profit to be made, but it's it's what we gotta do for now. Okay, it's what we gotta do for now until we can build. Ooh, what choice? What value? What, what, what? Where'd you go? What? Where'd you go? He left. He left. He's like, what choice? What value? Now there he is. Okay, so let's bring up this customer. Come on, dude. Get over there. I'm raining him up. I'm going to rain him up. Go over here. Rain him up. Rain him up! There we go. <laughs> I was going to say, don't let the sale go away. Is he buying the car? I want someone to buy this statue. Is our stuff in our store too expensive? Like, do Sims only want to buy this tiny crappy stuff that we can make like $20 on? Okay, well, let's talk to this guy. We're going to go ask him a price range and... We're going to uh, we're going to go to more choices retail. We're going to answer any questions he's got. Maybe uh, even discuss his shopping preferences after we restock here. We need a bathroom at this store. That's what I'm slowly realizing. This girl's back. At, oh, is she is she looking at the statue? She's looking at the statue. Hold on, answer the questions. We're, we're gonna we're gonna answer all of her questions, discuss her shopping preferences, um, and and discuss price range. That's what we're gonna do. We're going to convince this girl. She is going to buy whatever she's looking at. Come on, girl. Get over here. No, she's looking at the crappy car again. No one wants their big expensive statues. Wait, is she at the statues? Is she looking at the statues? Does she want the statue? Get the statue. Buy the statue. Here, look. Look, I'm going to discuss shopping preferences. Look. Oh, yes. Okay, what choice, what greatness. She, she wants to buy something. Okay, so we're selling one of these heads. It's the first time we sold one of these, and she also wants to buy something. So I'm going to ring up this girl real quick. Then we're going to go ring up this customer. Hopefully there's time, because... Oh, my God, there's three customers! We're going to time to buy all this... Okay, we're going to miss one sale, but, you know, this guy's offering to buy a head. She wants to buy this car. Uh, we need another play. We're going to lose a sale. Dang it, we lost a sale. But that's okay. 1400 for that head. That would have been nice, because we're only going to sell this for 400 bucks. Okay, so we're trying. We're actually doing really well today. So let's restock this. I want another employee. So let me just look at the business perks. Okay, so perk, 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 perks. Register of tomorrow. No additional employee. Can we get this? Yes, we can. Yay! Okay, so now we can get another employee. Manage employees. We're gonna hire another one. And I'm looking for a very, very gifted salesperson. And that's gonna be her right here, Morgan Fries. We're gonna get her in here, so she is a new employee, and now she can do sales too, which, and then I can just focus on ringing up customers or something. Okay, so let's click here. We're gonna assign work task, answer customer questions, and then I am gonna also, I don't know, uh, let's hmm, design a uniform for Morgan because we already got a really nice dress for our other employee, so she needs something of similar style. Now, let's see. I know we went with something very formal with the other girl, so let's try this. <laughs> something like that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. We're a fancy, like, art gallery, so, or, like, statue gallery or dec decor gallery. So, just nice dresses, just nice-looking clothes. That's what their uniforms are going to be. Kendrick comes dressed to impress as well. Okay, so we're restocking. So, as you can see... We are actually negative on the day, but now that we have a third employee, or a second employee, we should really be able to do this. So we assigned her a work task. She's supposed to answer some questions. Come on, guys. Answer any questions they got. Get this work done. There we go. We got someone looking at a statue. What choice? Okay, hold on. He's ready. He's ready to buy this statue. 
Let's go over here and confirm this. Come on. Come on, go over here and confirm this sale. We have the customer. We need it. We're really negative. Oh, we still have a profit on the day. Oh, that's a profit. Oh my god, that's amazing. That is an amazing day. We're making good sales right now, guys. Okay, so there we go. 1400 bucks. Let's uh let's maybe uh, an uh answer any questions she's got cuz she's close to becoming a sale. Okay, so come on. Answer her questions. Go to retail. Go to retail. Discuss shopping preferences. Do not play the guitar. That's weird. Okay, we're going to close up shop on the day. We, we've we had a good day. Let's close the business. So we made $2,000 in profit. Not a bad day. Not a bad day if I do say so myself. It is 849, though, so we should head home. We got to restock this store in the morning. We have a statue that went away. But hey, that was a good day because we made that means we made like six thousand plus dollars and you know four thousand in costs. But dang, like making over two thousand in profit is very impressive for our first day. Well, we had to restock a statue, which is over a thousand bucks, but we still made money, and that's a lot better than losing money. So I think we got this formula down. Let's get our point, basically our perk points way up, get as many employees as we can, then shoot the price through the roof. That's what we got to do. Okay, so we've had a long, stressful day. We definitely need a bathroom at our workplace. I know that. Let's take a bath with soaks. Let's do like a rose petal soak. Maybe that'll be a good bath. And then let's go over here and eat some type of salad or something. Just try to stuff our face and then come over here and relax the, and play some Blick Block, okay? There's some video games and some relaxation. And that's what we need right now. So he's going to the bathroom. He's going to take his relaxing bubble bath. Hopefully get his stress down a little bit. And now we're going to eat, then play some games, and then it's bedtime. It's been a really long day. To be honest, I, I can't believe we got so much good stuff done. Okay, so here we go. This is like Businessman 101. Uh, and, and, and now he's about to get older, too. So he's got to take his life a lot more serious, you know? If he's gonna be successful and have a family or anything like that, he's gotta start taking life serious. So here we go. Well, now he's playing Blick Block, so that's not taking life serious, but uh, it's still Blick Block. Yay! Okay, play Blick Block. Get your fun all the way up. He's gonna be up pretty late tonight, actually. Okay, so his fun is all the way up. Blick Block is so good for that. Okay, so let's go upstairs, and it's bedtime. Oh my God, what a day this has been. It's been a very long day, so let's have him head off. Go to sleep for the night. Pass out the rest of the night. Now, in the morning, I, I want to get Summer Holiday over here, and I want to at least keep that relationship going. She's invited us on, like, two dates in the last two days, and we haven't gone because we've been busy trying to get this business working. So we should invite her over in the morning so she knows, like, hey, we care about you. We love you or like you. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what, what Kendrick likes. Oh, my God, it's almost Kendrick's birthday. Uh, okay, so right when you wake up, Kendrick, we're going to use the potty here. You're going to go use the potty. Then we're going to go downstairs. You're going to stuff your face again with some breakfast. And then we're going to get Summer Holiday over here because that's who I want you to hang out with right now. We're going to ask Summer Holiday to hang out. Their relationship's almost 100% in both categories, love and friendship. And, you know, if he's going to get married going into his uh, older adulthood age, you know, he's he's going to he's gonna need a... A girl that he really enjoys. So let's eat all this. Come on, come on, eat all this before summer gets over here. Oh, she's here. Okay, well, let's come in. Uh, let's. Oh, I thought that was a. Uh, I'm like, does summer have a kid? Call over. So we're gonna call her over. There we go. So they can chit chat as he eats. He can finish up his breakfast. It's been a long day. Oh, they're kissing already. Okay, so let's have them maybe. Uh, he's going to offer her a rose. So let's let's try that. Let's see if that's something she wants. Finish up eating your breakfast. There you go. Put the dirty dishes away. I want you to offer a rose because if she takes it, there's a chance she might love you. I mean, like, there's a chance she might want to marry you. Okay. So let me see. I want to see. Ooh, Kendrick, offering her a rose. Like, look at that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Like, look at this beautiful woman. Beautiful Rose. Beautiful Kendrick. There we go. <laughs> okay, so she likes the Rose. That's great. That is really good. So now what we're going to do, not try for a baby. That's that's not in the cards yet. We're going to offer a massage. Okay, we're going to get this romance all the way up. Oh, they're having a bad day. Sorry, maid. Oh! Oh, what? Did you guys see that? 
Did you guys see that? She can't. She just hit Kendrick. She just hit Kendrick. Oh my God. Okay. Well, <laughs> I guess don't kiss in front of ex-girlfriends. Then teaches Kendrick a lesson. Okay. So let's try to get this. Th their friendships almost all the way up. I'm pretty sure their romance is all the way up. It is. Friendships. God, it's at like 100%. I can barely see it any little thing. So let's just um ask about her day. See how that goes. There we go. Casual day. <laughs> Okay, so perfect. So they're they're at like 100%. We're going to have them go maybe upstairs and just... Uh, 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 Woohoo. Uh-oh. 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 Is she coming? Is she following us? Oh, my God. She's following us. Uh-oh. This is awkward. Uh-oh. This is awkward. This is awkward. Like, oh, no. This is so awkward. This is so awkward. Like, look at this. Oh, no. Look at this. We're caught cheating, even though we haven't even talked to this girl in, like, 500 years or anything like that. But, uh, she's catching us cheating right now, guys. She's, like, hyperventilating. She is so angry. She is, like, watching this whole thing go down. What is going on? And now she left. What a creep. Do we have to fire her? Like, can she keep working for us? If she's this weird, is she going to, like, skin me and Summer alive? You know what this calls for? This calls for some winter holiday music. Ah, there we go. <laughs> that makes everything better. But, guys, I think this is where we're going to end today's episode. Today's episode got weird. But if you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to smash that like button and comment down below. Should Kendrick get married and go on the road of having kids and all that, a family? Because he's becoming a full adult. That means, like, 30 more days till he's an elder. Or should he stay single and maybe keep experimenting with other girls? Let me know in the comments. But until next time, remember to take it easy. Live it squeezy.